Hello and welcome to a new series here on the channel. I'm so excited to play Moonlighter. I don't know all that much about the game other than uh, it's basically, um, I think daytime you run a shop and nighttime you moon moonlight and go dungeon crawling. Let's get in. But it is from 11-Bit Studios, um, who are one of my like favorite studios, I'd say, favorite indie studios. They did um, This War of Mine and uh, Frostpunk, which both of which I really enjoyed. Oh. Okay. Apparently, any key doesn't include H, because the present H for a while, then press J. And the music blew the ears off me. Let's lower the music. Mark the thing down a bit. So let's. First thing we're gonna do is lower down the music. But this is gonna be interesting. Trying to work out. Ah, WASD. Okay. Okay, we've got English United States. I want to change the language. Chinese, Spanish. Okay, they don't actually have English, they just have English United States. Okay. Not not that not that it's a problem, it's just that I'm I'm used to being able to have like English and English United States as an option. But they do actually teach US English in my school, so it should be okay. Screen shake, okay, text speed. Let's go slow. Hardest recommended, so we'll do that. Now, where is. Ah, sound. No. Um, how do you get the graphics and sound? Ah, there we go. Resolution. Music volume down, please. I'm gonna do the same with the rest, just in case. Okay, and so let's see what else we have. Controller, I don't want to use the controller, thank you. Keyboard, okay. Dual SD to move. J is the main attack. Now that's why J worked and H didn't work. <laughs> Pendant L, <coughs> secondary attack K, inventory I, change up in Z, roll space, use potion E, map, interact. Okay, I can see why this is going to be, because <coughs> I guess it's more action than, it's not turn-based. Okay, so that's going to be interesting. Let's see. So, escape maybe can say here? Yeah, it does. Okay. Let's go new game. We're gonna go with hard. That's the recommended one. This is gonna be so weird. Among the stars of the night, there's a land as old as the imagination. One night, mazes full of extraordinary treasures, something, something. They call them the dungeons. Strange ever-changing ruins of unknown lands. Soon a village of the slightly curious took root near the dungeons. This they named Renoka. Among the settlers, two groups shine brightest, heroes and merchants, glory and riches. But the dungeons proved too dangerous. They were soon closed as too many lives were lost in their depths. Life became hard for the town, especially for the young owner of the oldest shop, Will of Moonlight. Long dreaming of opening the mysterious fifth door of the dungeons.
Okay, let's continue. <coughs> I think my next session, I'm probably going to try with a controller. Thing is, I've got a PS3 controller, and uh, basically, Microsoft seemed to make it really difficult to use my hands. This looks similar to, oh, what's the name of that? Um, uh, the Binding of Isaac has like this kind of one screen, one room type deal. Sure, what this does. Okay, we've got that, got that. Right, so we're doing some vandalism. Okay, and we can't really do anything else, so let's continue on. Okay. Ah, this is the tutorial. Okay. <coughs> ah, that's me on the wall. I was wondering what it was in the other room. Okay, so let's roll into the table. Can we roll our way through the door? We certainly can. Oh, well, space will make us. Ooh, will make us jump. Ah, you lose. If you die, you lose health. I like that. Okay, space to jump over him. Oh, actually, just dodge around, I guess. Something there, I think. Okay, J. Ah, break the box, okay. Now, nah, we got to the health potion. At least it looks like a potion. <coughs> and we got some enemies, okay. Nice, we hit. Okay. On we go. And before I forget, what I'm gonna do with with this game is something that I'm doing with pretty much all my games now and that's um, instead of having an episode and ending and having me saying an outro <clears throat> instead what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna play a session and then I will oh X no oh is that zero then I'm not sure okay well, yeah, I just I just cut up the. What are we gonna do? Um, I am playing in here. Okay. Ouch! What just can't you do then? Oh, okay, hold K. And then we get like a super duper. There we go. Uh oh, no way. So it's like a, you have the power though. Oh, and then we move. Step moving forward is going to be tough to get used to. It. So far, now I'm enjoying it. Oh, and that actually broke the locks. Excellent. So a bunch of stuff. I'm sure we'll know what to do with them in the future. Okay, let's go. Mm -hmm. Selling and reactions. Popularity. 
who could still hold something. Oh, where's the rest of it? This page up. I think this to be the remains of an old foundry. If the golems are created, what created them? <coughs> it is a small crack or two, but could still hold something beautifully crafted. Curious what it could have been used for. Okay, let's go to Z. See what that does. Ah, it changes the. Change the category, I think. Okay. How do I actually take what's in here, though? He is to examine. Oh, J. Okay. <coughs> Let's just quickly move on. Here we go. Now let's see what's in what's over here. What's this? Nothing apparently. Okay, we'll just take everything for now. Thank you. And then we'll head on. Oh hi there. Oh god. Ouch! Dick. Okay. Oh god, got this point. Mm, I'm gonna die. Yes, dead. <laughs> right, so what does that do? Does this spit us out? Spit us out of portal. And this guy's gonna come and tell us that we're shit. What a sorry looking kid. All alone now. Rest for a bit, Will. I have you now. Why did he call us a kid and then he knew our name? Is our name Will? I guess it must be. Even as a mere child, Barely able to walk. You are curious of the dungeons. Yeah, he does know us. Why did he call us kid at the start? There is no doubt. You carry the same obsession as old Pete. Guess old Pete was our father, maybe? Morning, boy. Did our little merchant bite off more than he could manage? Will, listen to me. The hard truth is this. You are the last of your family. The only one left to run Moonlight. You can't keep pushing yourself like this. Risking your life on this fifth door nonsense is foolish. Just leave it. Find some artifacts, then use your pendant to get out of the dungeon. And for crater's sake, stop using that broom of yours, you daft boy. It's dangerous to go along. Take this. It's mine from back in the day. Use it. I have little need for it now. But I have need for a drink of tea. Oh, good. Okay. Oh, he gave us a sword and a shield. Are we now Link? Is that who we are? Did we just change personalities? Now then, get up! 
You are wasting light. Can't have you neglect the shop all day. So where do we sleep exactly? Because we work in the shop during the day and then we go to the dungeon at night. But if we don't get our ass kicked, we're probably not actually going to sleep. But we'll see. Let's see if I can get through your hard head some of the tricks that I picked up from your grandfather so many, many years ago. Okay, we're up. Yeah. We can now move around. Can we get burnt on the stove? No. Oh, look at that. You can see us in the mirror. So we're not a vampire, at least. Successfully selling your merchandise takes knowledge of two things. You must know an item's value as well as its demand. Come now, open the shop up and allow the customers in. Oh wow, people are actually waiting inside. Are you a Ghostbuster? Oh no, there are books. Did you see that? Best expression you can hope for. The item wasn't too expensive for them. And not so cheap for you <coughs> to lose profit. I wasn't looking at expression. Be sure to pay attention to your customer's expressions. Well, we will now. When did you tell me that before she walked out the door? That's how your grandfather always knew if his prices were fair. Okay, another chap coming in. Wow, look at the beard. Dot, dot, dot. Oh, no, too expensive. I don't think I need to tell you how that item was obviously overpriced. Lesson learned. Well, hang on. We came in the shop and it was already priced. So, that's your fault. You put the prices on, not me. Finally, be careful of selling a popular item too much. If you flood the market, you will have to offer cheaper prices on your wares. So variety is the spice of life. Point is, charge higher when something is in high demand and in low supply. Take out your merchant notebook. It should hold all the information. You have gathered on discovered wares and artifacts. Okay, let's hit I. Now, E, okay. Crystal of energy. So about 100 quid should be what we do that for, okay. Would seem the sun has fallen for the day. I best head off. You will pick up more on your own. Wait. You work in the shop, right? So, are you saying that you're just going to lounge around at home and let me do all the work now? Is that why I have to go to the dungeons at night? Okay, well, let's let him go. Restoring the shop to its full glory. That responsibility falls to you, not I. Now yeah, I see. <coughs> it's in your blood, Will. Make us proud. In the meantime, why don't you try out that new sword of yours? Dungeons are more perilous at night, but one can always find better artifacts. 
just don't die too far. Let me use that pen and boy. Okay. Gotcha. He's gone. Uh, no, I wanted to go change the price of that thing for tomorrow. Go on now. These really balls of mine must rest. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, maybe you'll hit the subscribe button there on the right and check out some other videos here on the left.